KFC 66. We are here in Hollywood, Florida with the victorious Steve Tomahawk Council back in the winner circle. Dude, you went in there against the ultra tough pit bull himself, Jeremy Smith. Everybody knew this was going to be a hard fight. The, kid, the guy's as tough as they come. Uh, you actually came in there with a great game plan. You were hitting him at odd angles. Everything seemed to be working tonight. Can you talk us a little bit through the the plan to fight a guy like Jeremy Smith and uh, and how you executed? First of all, man, it was an absolute honor to share the ring with such a warrior. If you guys know Jeremy, man, he is a total warrior, tough as nails type of guy. I knew it was going to be a knockout, drag out fight. And for that reason, I knew that I couldn't go hand-to-hand -hand and, and brawl with this guy. I knew that I had to dig in with my coach. I had to make sure that we put a game plan in, make work some angles, switch between my orthodox and my southpaw, pop that jab, come up with the up jab, just work the different angles, um, be explosive, be in and out, make him chase me a little bit and make him pay when he did. You really did. And his high guard defense, um, you were sneaking that up jab little half uppercut, up jab, all all fight long it seemed to be landing. Is that something that you guys really worked on in preparation for Jeremy, or did you just notice that it was going to be working when you got in there and started throwing? No, so it's something my coach actually – pointed out and found out my coach is a kind of a, a short fella himself <laughs> so I knew that and he knew that he was going to have a really tight guard and we were going to have to dig up underneath there me being the taller guy so we worked a lot of uppercuts digging up underneath from the weird angle popping that jab it was 100 percent my coach Byron Zamora um, came up with this game plan we put together the movement worked on my boxing this entire fight if you guys see my last fight I'm starting to box, y'all. You know, this is bare knuckle boxing. You know what I'm saying? Bare knuckle fighting. So now you, you're, you're putting together those those boxing techniques, man. They're really paying off for me, um, and that's what we did tonight. Now you talked a lot about your coach. Do you want to do you want to bring him in? Yeah, we'll bring him in here, Byron Zamora. Nice to meet you. Great game plan. Uh, is are we good here, Mike? All right, we're good. The game plan was perfect. Jeremy Smith is a dog. He's powerful as hell, tough as they come. He proved it in the Houston Alexander fight. I've, I've never seen anything like that that night. Um, what do you have to say about your your fighter's performance tonight? Well, he listened to everything that, again, we came up with. And a couple times he, he got a little out of hand, but then he, well, when we got it back in the corner, you know, I would remind him what the game plan, I would remind him to keep his distance, and he just followed through. Uh, we worked a lot of boxing, a lot of keeping our distance, not trying to trade with this guy. Um, I even sparred with him trying to mimic uh, Jeremy at, at one point and even throw the weird hooks that he throws, the yep. big overhands that he throws, and um, tried brawling with him as well. And, uh, yeah, man, that's, I'm super proud of him. This is – he looked – like a complete boxer this fight. Yeah, he looked great. It was an awesome, awesome performance. Great game plan. You did, you did uh, injure yourself a little bit in the fight. A uh, couple breaks here, right? You want to talk about that? Um, how are the hands and uh, and what is the, what is the approach now? You that you moved to four and four. You just took out the number one guy, a uh, number two guy in the cruiserweight division. So when the hands heal up, what is the plan here? The plan is to keep it moving. Yeah, man, we caught the hands again, but that's what we do. This is the sport that I chose. There is no gloves. I'm going to throw them like I got gloves on with zero remorse. I'm throwing them with intent, and that's just what's going to happen. I'm not going to change anything what I do as far as that goes. I'm not pity patting. I'm punching, and I'm trying to punch through your face. As far as what's next, I want the big fights. You know what I'm saying? A belt is all fine and dandy, but I want the big fights. Lorenzo Hunt. You're on a little bit of break. You might not got the belt, but I still feel like you're the big dog, homie, and I want some. You know, Houston Alexander, bro, it would be an honor to share the cage with the ring with you. Any one of these cruiserweights, man, I might not have been in the top five or the top ten, but all y'all know my name. Outstanding call out. Here we go, man. The victorious Steve Townsell is Coach Byron. Thank you so much for your time tonight. Do you have any final words that you guys want to say to the camera before I let you go? Start with you, Coach. I'll just be ready to see more more and better boxing coming from Steve Tonson. So There you go. I love you guys. Thanks for coming out. And once again, thanks to the fellas at Mike and Miss. Here we go. BKFC 66, here we are. Thank you very much for your time. Oh, yeah. let's, just, let's, you again, let's just gingerly shake hands. Yeah. Thanks a lot, guys.